Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net. And if you've been keeping up with our series on this little Tracker 25, you know that we've removed the lower unit, resealed it, checked all the bearings, everything looked good, and now we've reinstalled it. But there's one thing left that we need to do, and that's fill it with gear fluid. All right, guys, it is an exceptionally short list on the parts today. All you're gonna need is the oil. Just make sure it's mercury grade, gear lube. Now, as far as the parts go, you're just gonna have basic hand tools and anything I use, I'll call that out as I go along. But the only specialty tool you're gonna need is a lower unit gear pump for mercury in specific. So if you like this particular setup, why don't you check the link in the description below. It's gonna carry you to a shopping cart where this is already set up and ready to head your way. So now that we've got our parts and our specialty tools together, let's head over there and get this thing done. Now, if you're changing your fluid, you want to go ahead and remove the top one, which ours is already out, and then remove the bottom and let it drain. Ours is pretty much empty for the most part, so we can go ahead and refill it. And if you're removing yours, make sure that it doesn't leave that other seal behind, because unless you get that out, it's not going to seal up properly. Look at that. So this is the lower gear oil that you want to use and as well as the pump that you're going to need to order. And of course, if it comes from mercury, it's already going to have the correct fitting to refill it. It doesn't have to be super tight, just bottom it out. All we're going to do now is just pump it, fill it up till it starts to run out the top. Go ahead and put in the vent plug, then we'll remove the bottom, keep our finger over it, and then put the drain plug back in. Now. Go ahead and disconnect this, and then we'll get the drain slash fill reinstalled. Give it a quick wipe down, and then we'll be done. Well, alright guys, that's going to wrap up this little project. Listen, if you need any parts for your boat, why don't you come see us at Boats.net, and we can get you taken care of. And hey, if you like what you see, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that way you can keep up with whatever I'm working on next. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Boats.net, and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.